Hi there, this is Dr. Stephen Blake, AKA the Pet Whisperer, AKA Medicine Man. And today's topic is how to thrive and survive in a toxic world. Uh, don't get depressed. I mean, it's just the way it is. Man does a great job of getting us in this mess, but the good news is this too shall pass. As I was taught, uh, whatever man does is like clouds on a windy day. It'll finally pass. So first thing is, and the most formal thing to remember about surviving and thriving in this world is to make sure you don't worry. Worry is the most toxic substance on planet Earth. So I go into this in more detail on my website, www.petwhisper.com. This purpose today of getting together with you guys is to share some of my discoveries over the last 50 years in the uh, field of medicine. And so I'm gonna give you a short version of what I've been doing now. As they say, walk in the walk. So the first thing I'm gonna tell you is, in any modality that you're taught about how to stay healthy or whatever, you've gotta have some kind of spiritual movement, some kind of spiritual path. And so Thich Nhat Hanh, <laughs> is one of my best teachers uh it's mindfulness it's on my website you can read about it i've talked about it for over five or six years now it's an excellent way to live life it's not a uh, religion it's a spiritual practice just how to live your life healthier and better the other thing for those of you who don't know me i'm an advocate of earthing earthing is the concept of touching the earth with your bare skin. So I go into that in great detail on my website on the earthing topic and uh, you'll find out uh, biodynamics and bioelectronics of earthing too because these are two very important parts of whatever you do. Most people are focused on nutrition, uh, supplements and so forth which I, I am as well. However I found that if you're not connected to mother earth in some way which supplies everything we need you're, all of it's going to fail. So barefooting or just being in contact with the earth called earthing is an excellent way to go. And then my go-to, as everybody knows, my other, one of my other names is, is Dr. Colostrum. And I've been taking colostrum nonstop since October of 1998. And it's gotten to me to, gotten me to uh, my sex coming up 70 second spin around the earth. I mean, around the sun, sorry. <laughs> uh, anyway, uh, the beauty of this product is, is that it meets every nutritional uh, need you need micro, micronutrient-wise. So you can read all about it on my website. I've written a book on it as well, Bovine, Bovine Colostrum, Nature's Forgotten Miracle, which you can get on Amazon.com. The other product that I use daily without fail, and supplies me with all the green I need in terms of fruit and vegetables is the Edge Algae. Amazing, organic, comes from Klamath Lakes in Oregon. You can read all about it on my website. Amazing, amazing product. Also, you'll learn that algae is not only an excellent source of green food, but it's also an excellent source of plant material which helps to detox your body. Detoxification of the body is essential. You do it all the time. However, with the heavy metals and so forth in the environment, you need some help. Algae is one of them, colostrum is another one. Another one that uh, I've been also nicknamed Dr. Gemmo, Gemmo Therapy, is a modality developed in the 50s, 1950s in France, and I've been promoting it, and I've also written a book on that as well. This is an excellent plant-based uh, medicine that helps to your body to uh, detox or assist the amongstry organs, which are the organs of elimination, like kidneys, liver, skin, and so forth. Anyway, excellent source of uh, plant uh, phytotherapy that will help you in that regard. So another real simple thing, again, in microdoses, you don't need a lot of any of these things, as long as you're eating a basically healthy diet. Uh, no extremes, just moderation. The other thing that I'm a big fan of since 1994 is essential oils. Essential oils are great. They oxygenate the blood, all the cells in the body, they're also natural detoxers, so, and they smell good too. 
So, very, very simple tools. You can read about them on my website. I've already said that once, www.thepetwhisper.com. Get out there, and as I said uh, earlier today, uh, a path is made by walking on it. So get off the couch and do something. And remember, whatever you do, don't hurt Mother Earth. Aho. Thanks for listening.